Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow Denarian friends to help support our channel. Believe me it makes a huge difference and it is appreciated very much. Please take the time and check out our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Denar community. You can use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off along with the mobile application free for my subscribers. I also recommend you registering as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program made for the financially challenged as I like to call it. It makes saving gold easy and affordable for everyone. Now is the time to get involved if you have not already done so. Both of the links are in the description below. First article of interest for today, U.S. Treasury Chief, Iraqi President to hold bilateral meeting in Davos statement. Washington slash Sputnik slash Uni, U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin is scheduled to hold a bilateral meeting with Iraqi President Baram Saleh on the sidelines of next week's World Economic Forum, WEF, in Davos, the department said in a statement. Earlier, CBS reported citing officials, that President Donald Trump might hold a meeting with Sali in Davos. It would be Trump's first meeting with an Iraqi official since threatening Baghdad with sanctions after tensions escalated over the assassination of Iranian Commander Qasem Soleimani. In Davos, Secretary Mnuchin will participate in several key conversations about the American economy, financial markets, and digital currency, Treasury said on Friday. He will also participate in bilateral meetings with Iraqi President Baram Saleh. This year's WEF will be held in Switzerland's Davos from January 21 to 24. Next article of interest. Deputy, the President of the Republic will hold intense meetings in the coming hours to resolve the Premiership. On Saturday, a member of the House of Representatives, Mohammed al khaldi revealed the intention of the President of the Republic. Baram Sali, to hold intense meetings of political blocs to resolve the mandate of the next Prime Minister, indicating that all the names that were proposed were excluded, except for Mohammed Tafiq Alawi. Alka Alidi said in a statement to Slash Information Slash that, the coming hours will witness intensive meetings of President of the Republic Baram Sali with the heads of political blocs in order to resolve the issue of the presidency of the next government. He added that, all the names that have been put forward to head the government are no longer competitive, with the exception of Mohammed Tafiq Alawi, who was nominated by a parliamentary bloc of more than 60 deputies, as well as the presence of support by the demonstrators and the lack of political rejection. He explained that, the ball is currently in the court of the President of the Republic after not nominating the largest bloc or agreement between the demonstrators and the political blocs to choose a certain figure to head the government. Next article of interest. A deputy reveals a new mechanism for choosing an independent government. On Saturday, the deputy of the Sadkun bloc, Ahmad al Kanani, announced a mechanism in principle for choosing a new technocrat government stressing that the coming days will witness the nomination of a new prime minister away from the system of political parties. Kanani said in a statement to Information, that, there is a new mechanism developed to choose an independent government and the name of the candidate for prime minister will be announced soon, without revealing the nature of that mechanism. al Kanani added, the coming days will witness the solution of many things especially the formation of the new government and the file of foreign presence, stressing that, the convergence of the big poles within the political process will contribute to choosing a government away from political quotas. The deputy of the al Fatah alliance, Walid al-Salani, revealed, today, Saturday, that there is a trend to amend the Iraqi constitution to choose the personality of the prime minister by direct election from the Iraqi people away from the influence of the bloc or party, stressing that his alliance with the general consensus. Next article of interest. Haddad talks about the fate of the budget and confirms that half of the contentious laws have not been legislated. Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Bashir Haddad, 
confirmed on Saturday that half of the laws referred to in the Constitution have not been legislated yet due to the need of most of them for political consensus, while he indicated that the government informed the Parliament of the readiness of the budget, but turning the government into conducting business prevents it constitutionally from sending any bill to Parliament. Had it said in an interview with the newspaper, Al Saba, and saw him slash the information. It was supposed that the budget of 2020 will reach the House of Representatives before the end of last year to vote on it according to the laws in effect, but the conditions of the demonstrations and the resignation of the government prevented it from being sent from the government to Parliament. He added that the government informed the Council of the readiness of the budget, but turning the government into conducting business prevents it constitutionally from sending any draft law to Parliament, including the budget. Had it expressed his hope that a new government will be formed to send the draft budget to Parliament, noting that the high budget deficit is caused by the addition and creation of job grades and additional expenses to implement the demonstrators' demands and allocate money to students and the unemployed, which forced the Parliament to provide about 200,000 job degrees through amending the unified pension law. Had it explained that there is a legal opinion that sees the caretaker government can send the budget to the parliament after voting on it in the cabinet before resigning, but the other opinion confirms that the government cannot send any law to the parliament, including the budget. Regarding the controversial laws that have not been legislated yet in the House of Representatives, had it stressed, the importance of these laws is supplemented by what the Constitution has established and its regulation needs a law but half of it has not been legislated until now, despite its importance to proceed with the full implementation of the Constitution, attributing the reason to its need for political consensus. The deputy chairman of the Council of Representatives pointed out that, through his parliamentary committees, he holds discussions and understandings with the political blocs to reach a political consensus in preparation for legislating a part of them during the next legislative term. Next article of interest. A cleric calls on Trump to protect Iraq money. The government transfers hard currencies to Iran. On Saturday, cleric Hassan al-Musawi called on the United Nations and U.S. President Donald Trump to protect Iraqi money, accusing the government of transferring hard currencies from Iraq to Iran. Al-Musawi wrote on his account on Twitter and followed him, Tomorrow Press a message he sent to the United Nations and U.S. President Donald Trump, in which he said, We appeal to you to put your hand on the central bank and other Iraqi banks, because the resigned Iraqi government intends to transfer Iraqi money from currencies. Difficult like the dollar and the euro to Iran under the pretext of protecting it, we ask you to protect our money. Next article of interest. How much have the external and internal debts of Iraq reached? Abdul Mahdi's advisor answers. The Prime Minister's advisor for financial affairs, Maza R. Mohammad Sali, revealed, on Saturday, the size of Iraq's external and internal debt. Sali said, in a statement reported by the official news agency, that the external indebtedness of Iraq is less than $30 billion, and that there is external indebtedness spending on the Paris Club Agreement, which deducted about 80% of debts before 1990 has not been settled. He added, Iraq's external debt of pre-1990, amounting to $128 billion, 80% of which was written off under the Paris Club Agreement. Saleh pointed out that there are from $41 to $42 billion belonging to the Gulf states and some other countries that return to before 1990 debts outside the Paris Club Agreement noting that they are outstanding debts that are resolved by resorting to the Paris Agreement as a standard agreement for all debts. Iraq. He pointed out that the debt remaining from the Paris Club Agreement is less than $9 billion, explaining that there are new debts that were arranged as a result of the war with the ISIS terrorist gangs, which estimated about $13 billion. He continued, the remaining amount for countries inside and outside the Paris Agreement and for international multilateral financial institutions not subject to the Paris Club Agreement, is estimated at $28 billion. He explained that their payment will be in the form of payments from the year 2020 to the year 2028, 
each according to its maturity. And, he stated that, the internal debt of Iraq is estimated at $42 billion for the central bank, Rafidane, the TPI, and Al Rashid. Next article of interest. Parliament Presidency. The Constitutional Amendments Committee has completed 50% of its work. Vice President of Parliament, Bashir Haddad, announced on Saturday that the Constitutional Amendments Committee has completed 50% of its work, indicating that the most prominent articles that must be amended in the Constitution are defining the largest parliamentary bloc and the shape of the political system in Iraq. Haddad said in an interview with the newspaper, Al Sabah, and saw him slash the information, the Constitutional Amendments Committee is more than 50% of its work and it is now in continuous discussion with the final articles of the Constitution, noting that, the Council is awaiting the completion of the Committee's work in preparing a detailed report with its recommendations to make the necessary amendments four months before the end of the specified period, to present them at once to the House of Representatives and approve them before they are put to the popular referendum. Had it added that, the most prominent articles that must be amended in the Constitution are defining the largest parliamentary bloc and the shape of the political system in Iraq. He continued, the Kurdistan region has made clear its position on the amendments from the beginning, so if the intention is to increase the area of rights and freedoms and provide better services to citizens and is in the interest of the country, it strongly supports them but if the goal is to reduce or narrow the area of freedoms and not satisfy the rest of the components, it will be rejected by them. Please hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit the Denarian blog and find me on Facebook. Please take a moment and visit our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off of checkout along with the mobile application added on at no extra charge. Also, get registered as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program today. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you may lose everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold. I know what you're thinking, gold is too expensive right? This program is made so low-income people can afford to buy gold in small increments, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always transfer gold into any kind of fiat money you want or need, the gold will always be in your possession. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad, the dollar will not. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately and running from the current fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links are available in the description box below this video. Knowledge is power, over and out for now, the Denarian.